Hello, this is the weekly general reading for the week of May 30th through June 5th, 2016 for Twin Flames. So, um, I'm going to start with the first card. Okay, so the first card will represent where Twin Flames currently are in their journey this week. And we have All That Glitters, number 16. Okay, so, alright, so where we are right now, I'm getting the saying, all that glitters isn't gold, and it's kind of like they're both taking off their masks in this, um, in relation, not with, necessarily within each other, but within themselves and their, around their own surroundings. And I get a sense that spirit is in charge of this, it's like, they're becoming more observant of their situation, their surroundings. Um, and, and soon it's going to, number 16 to me, it's like there's a new um, beginning and harmony that's going to happen as a result of this. And um, 16, so if we break it down to one single number, we would have seven. So again, this is like divine, divinity, orchestration. So they're seeing things in their life that things are not all that they seem to be. Um, all that glitters isn't gold. So all the things that we thought we wanted or um, thought that we needed in our lives or the people that we thought were going to stick around or were for our highest good or for our best, we're now taking um, note that that's not true. It's like the mask is coming off. And also, this could also be facing your own self that we're putting on this projection that, you know, everything is good with us, but really it's not. And it's like we need to take off the false um, mask that we're projecting towards, you know, everyone else and also to each other, towards the twins, that we could be um, holding back from that. And also, there could be a fear of being your true self because you know you may not feel like you're not so perfect or so beautiful or so glittery um in reality that's just a fear but that could be coming up as well so that's currently where we are in our journeys is taking off the mask being observant and seeing things for what they truly are and the things that you know look very enticing or were very enticing to us and this could not not only just be with people around us, it could be, you know, materialistic things, it could be addictions, it could be, um, like I said, being pretend, um, pretentious, pret I'm sorry, pretentious, um, if I'm saying that right, like putting on a, a fake personality or just not being our true authentic selves with our own self, like we're not being true to ourselves and now we're seeing that. Okay, the next card will represent um, what is the energy that we'll be projecting towards each other. So what are the twins going to be projecting towards one another this week? And we have the thinker, 44. Um, the energy I get is like a contemplation, some inner, you know, thinking. And spirit is also orchestrating this. Um it's kind of like you're at one stage and you're kind of just stopping where you are before you take that next step. So it's kind of like contemplation is what I'm getting. So the both of you right now, um, I feel like you have an understanding that you need some time to think or you need some time within yourself before you move forward um, within this connection or make some sort of decisions or whatever it is. It's like a contemplation period for the both of you. And I get that you understand that within one another. Um, there's a balance, there's a harmony, um, there's stability with this. It's a good thing that this is occurring. Um, number 44 is the number of the archangels. So again, spirit is in charge of this, this contemplation, just taking that time to really rest, go within. Um it vibrates number eight. So it is in relations to karmic situations. Um, also going with the flow of the universe, like the infinity symbol. It's like a continuation. So it's like going with the flow of things. 
And number four itself is just a number of stability. So this is a stable time. This is a good thing that this is happening. And I feel like you both understand each other because of that. There's an understanding there. Okay, so what are the current energies that are um, protecting the twins this week? Working for the twins, and we have 28 building blocks. So it's like you're building something. It kind of relates to the thinker card where you're at one stage before you take that next step on another block. So it's like you're building um, the connection as you go along. And it's like you're you're stronger when, when you take your time before you move on to the next step. 28 again, um, 2 is like a partnership. So it's like you're building up your connection as you go along. And number 8 would be, again, that karmic, um, like dealing with karmic things or dealing with things within yourself first, the both of you. And also the infinity symbol, the continuation, the flow of the universe. And it also relates to your connection. So... You're allowing things to go and flow. The universe is assisting you with that. Um, this would be, if we break this number down, it would be number 10 or number 1. So this is like a new beginning. So you're at one stage and you're building up you know, your connection. So you're moving on to the next phase or you will be moving on to a new beginning. So they're helping you build. But they're saying to take your time, not to just jump so far ahead onto the next stage or the next chapter, but take your time before you do that. That's why we're at the thinker stage. We're, we're contemplating, we're reflecting right now, which is a good thing. Um, what is the lesson that will be learned for the both of us this week? We have mending, 52. So this um, also is a shift, I feel, like contemplation, going within, mending some things within our own selves before we can come back together. So if there's a little separation period or a little, you know, a little uh, break that's happening, even if you are together right now and you're just going through some things, you are mending that situation, but first it has to start with within. So um, again, so five is a of divine life changes or a major shift or a major change happening so this energy is shifting and it's it's putting some things together and number two will represent that duality within yourself and also within your partnership so you will be mending things within your own self as well as the connection with the both of you so that is the lesson that you'll have to do is you have to go within and mend some things um I, it's like a lot of healing and you'll have to do it with love. There may be some conversations that come up. I see the color blue, which is the throat chakra. There's a pink cloud. So it's like there'll be some things that you have to discuss. Um, like matters of the heart, like things that, you know, coming from the heart when you're speaking and conversing with your own self. And also within your partnership. So there may be some heart to heart conversations that come up or a little more intimate communication that comes up because you are building together you're moving towards you know a different phase a new phase so right now it all starts within yourself before you can you know come together you have to reflect so i feel like that's really the energy right now is reflecting and contemplation um the overall energy this week we have daughter personal healing and happiness 34 so it's definitely a time of healing within our own selves. In turn, it will heal the relationship and they'll open the door to better things and happiness. When you shut the door on the old and you walk forth, there's new opportunities. There's much better out there for you um, in relation to your life. There's so many abundant blessings and this is spirit. And this is also spirit guiding you, listening to your intuition, listening to your inner guidance listening to what spirit has to say um it's gonna lead you to much happiness much freedom it's like a breath of fresh air when you just shut the door on all of the old um i almost cussed <laughs> the old stuff <laughs> that's in the background and three is you know you have spiritual guides with you and partnering with you your twin you the it's like the holy trinity and then four is stability so it's in turn bringing you that stability um and 
this vibrates number seven. So again, it's all divine, divinely orchestrated, divinely guided, also trusting in the divine. All right, so what advice does spirit have for all of us this week? And we have angel of joyfulness, something wondrous and magical is about to happen. So we're blossoming, we're definitely trans transforming. This is a time of reflection, healing, transformation. Not with not just within, but without, like in our outer experience, our circumstances, our situations, our connections with each other. Things are blossoming, things are transforming. We have the orb of pink light in the back, so it's like also this is um unconditional love this is a loving energy that's it's in charge of this and we're open and receptive or when we're open and receptive to this change this transformation this growth it's a, something wonderful wondrous wonderful and beautiful will come of this so also it's transformation um like i said there'll be some heart to heart talks this butterfly is is blue so i get the throat chakra again so it's speaking something and it's like going to change the situation it's going to change the tone of your situation and um the blossoming the growth comes with intuition so you're growing um when you're trusting in your visions and your intuition your inner guidance your inner knowing this is a very spiritual color um purple so it's stepping out growing um spiritually and not only that trusting in your intuition and your guidance and your psychic sight your vision if that makes sense so it's really this is something beautiful that's happening they're telling you there's something to be had here it's all of the cards are really um it has a beautiful energy here and i feel like there's a level of understanding between you and your twin where you're allowing things to just flow naturally you're taking one step at a time and you're reflecting you're doing some inner reflecting and work right now because you the influence right now the positive influence is building the building blocks so like you're building a foundation with your partner and that's what's in turns really happening and there's mending that's mending within your own self and within this connection. And that's a good thing. And you're being more observant. I get observing of your situation, of your surroundings, seeing things for what they are, getting that clarity. And spirit is all, you know, spirit is always with us, but they're really working with us internally within our own selves, you know, kind of taking our focus off one another and kind of just allowing things to be with a level of understanding of each other um there's no force i don't feel it's all stable energy too it's stability um it's partnering energies there's a lot of number twos there's a lot of fours um seeing some fives which is the shift in energy which is a good thing number eight which is going with the flow again that infinity so it's this is a good week i feel this is a very um good time to clean your energy cut cords release um cleanse your aura cleanse your surroundings you know it's a good time to to walk away from situations right now is what i'm feeling situations that are not in our highest good it's a good time all right so i send you lots of love healing and light and um i did start up my website so i will leave a link below if you would like to book a reading with me Thank you so much for your support and you all have a blessed, beautiful week. Bye-bye.